Hey guys, this is Mel Turkla. Today we're going to be doing a video on uh, the lock and load pockets. Uh, I've got uh, another video called Kefaro Lock and Loads uh, Pockets. It shows how to use the lock and load pockets. Another one called Kefaro Internal Organization. It's a way how you can use the lock and loads connected together to get internal organization and pack. But I just want to go over all the lock and load pockets themselves individually. I'll go over first the four that have been discontinued. The lock and load number one was just a small flat pocket. It's discontinued, but we still have a few left. The number six is discontinued and there's none left of the number six. The number eight has been discontinued, but there's still some left of these. And the number nine, which had elastic keepers of different sizes, so you can put pins, multi-tools, whatever you want in there. That's also discontinued, but again, few available left. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the size differences on, on some of these. This is a lock and load number two. It's a flat pocket, but you can see you can stuff it. You can stuff it pretty good. Here we have a lock and load number five and a lock and load number seven. Lock and load number five is three inches of depth. Lock and load number seven, which has a mesh front, is an inch and a half in depth. So I've got them stuffed out so you can kind of see the difference in size when you got them filled up. Moving along here, this is the lock and load number three. It, the lock and load number three is a single pocket. It's like a basically a longer or wider chamber pocket. But it's set up, it has comm loops on the bottom where you can actually string them together. So here I've got three of them strung together. So, I've got a Marauder here. Here's number four. It's like an extra large chamber pocket with mesh. I've got it hung right from the top. I could also hang the number three strung like this. I could also hang them from the top, just like this. Use them, get them all the way, get into another pocket. Uh, on the lock and load number Number 10, that's this pocket right here. It was designed specifically for the inside of the x-ray on the front panel. And it also works well on the inside of the E and E and Zing, inside of the Zing. It's narrow in our, numbers, our number uh, six and eight pockets. I'd like to show you right now. Here's the number eight pocket versus the number 10. This would discontinued. But the number 10 is a perfect fit in a Zing, an x-ray, and inside of E and E. Now, our number 11 pocket is our, is our only pocket, lock and load pocket designed specifically for uh, exterior use. The other pockets may be used exteriorly, but this was really designed for exterior use on the Koala. But it works great on anywhere on PALS webbing on all the packs and even the high camp. You can put two of these on the front of a high camp pack. It's 1000D Cordura. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's now uh, 500D Cordura. It's four point attachment. And out there you see it right on the front panel of, uh, of a Marauder. And I think that's about it on, uh, I went through all the pockets and that's about it. Uh, again, look at Kefaro lock and load video. It shows how you can use a lock and load system and look at Kefaro internal organization video. And that shows how you can combine some of these together and get more organization inside your pack. That's about it for now.